my zombies. Long time no see, I feel like. I'm so sorry I was gone. I am back and I'm feeling better. I am 100% better than the last video because I was super sick at that point. And um, right now I'm keeping my eye on dinner and that'll be a different video so I'm not telling you what I made right now but I did gather a few things throughout the week um, and yeah and nothing else but work 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 like usual for this zombie mama so the first thing I want to show you want to say hi to the zombies so my zombie wanted to be in this video today so I am happy to have her and so let me start First haul is going to be from Goodwill. I'll show you what I got probably a week ago. I don't know if, I doubt I showed you because I didn't make a video since then. But Teddy Bear actually found these for me. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But it had my favorite people on them. And I had to get them. You can see the inside of the box better. So I had to get them. I love the inside. I like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And I told you zombies I have a bit of a a bit of a problem when I find things. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some room for these babies. I don't know what yet, but they're gonna do, I'm gonna do something with these. But when Teddy Bear showed me them, I can't believe that I was just, I had to get them. So then today we did stop by Goodwill because we did go to a grocery store out of town. It was a bigger version of the store that's in our town. It's called HEV. But um, so I'll get to that in a second. So today at the Goodwill, I thought this would be neat for my zombies. And it's Ripley's Believe It or Not book. And it was only two bucks, and it's like new, so I can't. I want to look at this too, but this is something for their shelf since we put new shelves in there. And then I found this, and I thought it would be neat for them to start reading since they're getting bigger. And she's been reading books like it's going out of style, so I gotta, I gotta keep up with her because she's gonna be into my my Anne Rice novels soon. So. Just like I was with my mom, because my mom used to collect Dan Rice novels. And before I get to this other haul, I wanted to show you that I've been playing with my embroidery machine. And I am in love with it. Teddy Bear actually got um, is getting the fonts and all that stuff for me. So I am like super, super happy because this means that I'll be able to embroider my stuff and personalize them as well so and I will be able to put my name on them so I'm excited about that <sighs> now zombies I already told you I have a problem and when it comes to clearances the zombie does not play <laughs> and this is a bit of a Walmart haul we did stop by Walmart today but I didn't get any makeup today so I happened to go by the makeup aisle and I happened to see very, very good deals. So I am going to try all of this makeup and maybe cross our fingers. It'll be for a Try It Tuesday. Sorry for my guy zombies. I promise you one day I will do a Try It Tuesday without involving makeup. <laughs> but um, so I got this foundation. And it's called the 24 Hours. It's in 110 Ivory. And it's, I want to say it's Revlon. Yes, it's Revlon. So it's still taped up. I don't know anything about this foundation. I actually need to look it up. I was going to look up reviews on it. But it was three bucks and I could not pass that up. So I grabbed it and I threw it in the cart. Poor teddy bear. Then I found, and now these I got two because summer's coming and the zombie has to switch out foundations and I don't like it, but I've learned how to do it. So, <laughs> but um, so I got the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous in 810 and that is Classic Ivory. Yeah. And I actually, I'm lying, I tried this today. 
I got this one on right now. Uh, my light's not doing it any justice, but I like it. Um, I have, I don't feel like it's on my face or anything, but I haven't, um, I was going to do a full review on it when I wore it a few more times. So far, I like it. I don't see it, like, spreading or anything like that. I know all foundation, most of the foundations oxidize, but, um, this one so far, I have only had to put some matte powder once before, and that was just, like, 10 minutes ago. But I like it. I feel like I said, there's no scent to it, and, I mean, so far, so good. So, I'm glad, and this was also $3. Now this one I got is the same thing. I have not opened it yet, but this is an 820 and it's in creamy natural. So this is when the sun kicks my ass and I have to give in and go a little darker. And if you know me, you know I love my pale skin. I don't, I'd rather moon tan than sun tan, believe me. If I could moon tan, I would. <laughs> So, I got the, also I got the Revlon Age Define with DNA Advantage Cream Makeup. I like reading everything. And this is in the color Fresh Ivory, 05 Fresh Ivory. I have not played with it, it still has the tape on it. And I am interested in this one. I've never heard of this one as well. And this one I think was 250 And also... What was 250 was the powder that it comes with, and this is in 05 light. So I cannot wait to try this, and it's the the same thing Revlon Age Define with DNA Advantage. So I can't wait to do a review on this. So I got a couple of Try It Tuesdays lined up by C. Then I got this for 75 cents. It's the Fit Me Blush. And I keep wanting to read the French words. <laughs> and it's in 306 Deep Coral. So it was the only one left. And I grabbed it. I thought it was a pretty color. And I like it so much that I cannot wait to use it. I did not use it today because I went and jumped on my e.l.f. blush. I've been liking my e.l.f. blushes lately. Now, another thing I got was a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And it's Brow Gel Mascara. And I got this for four no, $3.50. It sounds like you're saying you're fine with it because you can get away with that consequence. Whereas if it were a human... Uh, and it's in 385 transparent so I cannot wait to use this when I do my eyebrows which I forgot I got this so tomorrow hopefully I get to do this with my eyebrows and then for a dollar fifty I got the brow stylist duet and I was kind of wanting to play with the pencils so I'm glad I found it and for a dollar fifty I couldn't get I could not beat it and these are in the colors 3 335 medium brown. So yes, I cannot wait to try these. And I am going to be watching reviews on a lot of this. And then for 75 cents, I got the Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat. So I am really interested in trying this. It's really glittery. So I'm really, I should have tried this today too. And again, I forgot I got this because I had put it, I left it all in the bag so I could show you guys. And now I'm going to try it. Not right now, but I'm going to try it. But I cannot wait to try this over my red. See how that looks. Now summer's coming. I keep saying summer's coming. And I'm trying to motivate myself to liking this. Because I know I'm going to have fun this summer. And me not being an outdoors type of zombie. I um, declare me to have fun. So this is an ankle bracelet. So I got me an ankle bracelet and I thought it would be fun to try. I actually, I don't, I cannot say that I've ever worn an ankle bracelet, but this one caught my eye and it was only $3.94. So I got it and hopefully I like it. And this inspired me to actually see how I can make one, see if I can start making these. And then I went to the crafting section. I cannot live without going to the crafting section when I go to Walmart. And I had got me on some snow on snaps because I am going to make some Peter Pan collar necklaces. So um, I saw a tutorial on it and it involved these babies. And I'm new to sewing on these little buttons, so I'm pretty sure it's not hard at all. 
and yes, these are gonna help me out a lot and I already got everything ready to go for my Peter Pan collars. I have a lot lined up for my shop. Now my process is I gotta open my shop. Um, I did come up with a name, but I'm not saying anything yet. And yes, so this is just another thing added. Now, that's all I got to show you. Oh, no, it's not. So we went to that grocery store that I told you about out of town. Now, I wasn't expecting them to have this huge makeup. I was unprepared, <laughs> but they had this huge, huge makeup section. And yes, I want to go back before that makeup section. But what I caught my eye was they sell in um, they sell NYX cosmetics there. Um, I was trying to go 100 miles per hour. Um, I did have teddy bear and baby zombie with me, so I had to go 110 miles per hour. So I did pick up. I snagged a few goodies. And I already, I'm already a big fan of the liquid suede that they carry. Um, I wish I could get all the colors maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll have the whole collection if Baby Zombie doesn't wear it before I do. Um, but I added the Sandstorm. It's, I don't know if I should read anything else, but it's called Sandstorm. And I'm very eager to try this out. Um, also, mentioning summer, um, I always feel like red is too much for me. I'll still wear red, doesn't matter, but on certain occasions, if I'm going to be out and about, say we're at a flea market or we're just just out and about, um, I don't, uh, and I am wearing makeup, I don't always like to wear red when it's really hot because I feel like I melt. It's so weird, but um, I'm starting to like the natural tone, so I cannot wait to try this on. I've been hearing so much about the NYX concealer, the HD Studio concealer, and so I got it, and it's in 01 Porcelain. So I got it, and I'm so eager to try this myself. This is um, a tie between um, when I got my Tarte concealer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy to try this. That way, when I run out of my Tarte concealer and if I can't get it, I'm pretty I'm gonna have this. So I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to play with all my makeup. I'm glad I'm back. I missed you guys so. Uh, a part of me, would you mind stirring the food, babe? A part of me, um, I guess, stopped for a little bit. Was I was noticing um, a lot of drama going on on YouTube, and I just I'm not trying to be a part of any kind of drama and. With work being the way work is with me, um, and then not having my my chill time or my fun time that I like on to have on YouTube, it was kind of taken away by all the drama going on. And I'm not saying anything else about it because I know it's just done. It's just a lot of drama, drama, drama. So I kind of was in. I went to my own little dark place again. So I've been there, and I've been like crafting, and I've been um, just taking care of my family and all that good stuff. So I am back. I am back. So like I said, I'm sorry yeah. I was gone. You know where the and we have grandma here with us too. So that's grandma talking. Yeah, I thought there was one. But um, grandpa, so yeah. So look forward to more videos. Oh, it's on the other side of the bed. Right? <laughs> look forward to more videos. And yes, I'm back. And I hope the drama stops between everybody here on YouTube. But if it doesn't, I'm just gonna push forward. I want to make it fun again. And yes, and I have a lot of catching up to do with all of my a lot of my zombies videos actually. So um, again, I'm back, and I hope you liked all my stuff um, that I have collected throughout this week. And yes, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I am excited about my embroidery machine that Teddy Bear got. I've been on it nonstop. Teddy Bear's actually been on it nonstop, so I'm kind of having to fight over it now. So I don't know if this is a good thing. No. <laughs> but um, all right, zombies. I love you all. I am gonna finish dinner so we can all eat and get ready to go back on my machine. And I cannot wait to see how my Peter Pan collar necklaces go. Like I said before, I'm dying to do a DIY. I'm getting to it. <laughs> but, alright zombies, that's all I got right now. I love you all. I missed you all terribly. And I hope to see you all in my next video. And have a very creepy day, creepy evening. And that's it. <laughs> bye zombies, I love you. Say bye zombies. Bye. Yes, justify.